In this video, we'll be working with fractional exponents and radicals. Recall the rule that says that if you have a radical with the index of b and the exponent on the radicand is a, you can write this as the base of x, which is the same base here, and the exponent has um, the numerator is the exponent on the radicand, and the denominator is the index on the radical. So let's practice this rule. With the square root of x, we don't have any numbers visible, but we know that our exponent on the radicand is 1, and we know that the index on the square root is 2. You don't show the 2 on the square root because square root is used so often. But now we can apply this rule. Um, we write our base of x and then the numerator on the exponent is 1 and the denominator on the exponent is 2. So square root of x can be written as x to the 1 half. Let's do one more of these. Um, on this one, our base is x. Then for the exponent, my numerator is 2, and my denominator is 3, which is the index on the radical. So to simplify radicals, sometimes it's helpful to change the radical expression to one with exponents. Let's do a problem. On this one, notice that everything's all multiplied together. We don't have any addition or subtraction uh, operations. Um, I don't have an index showing on this radical, which means that it's a square root. So I could write this index 2. And then uh, this factor in the radicand doesn't have an exponent, which means that its exponent is a 1. And let's see. And here's another factor that doesn't have an exponent on it. So I could put that 1 there as well. All right, now I'm just going to write this as the product of factors with exponents. So this x is to the 3 over 2 multiplied by this y is to the 1 over 2. multiplied by. This x is to the 1 over 4 multiplied by. And then this y is to the 3 over 4. All right, now I can simplify this expression by adding the exponents. So we'll use the rule that says x to the a multiplied by x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b. When your bases are the same, you can add your exponents. So I'll take this factor and this factor and simplify that. We have x to the 3 halves plus one-fourth, and then I can put these two factors together. That'll be y to the one-half plus three-fourths. Now when we add these fractions together, um, three-halves plus one-fourth uh, combines to give me seven-fourths, and this one will be 5 fourths. So this is the simplified expression. Now, since these both have a denominator of 4, I could write this with a radical 
the index on the radical is 4, and the x is to the 7th power, and the y is to the 5th power. Now I could simplify this. Um, x to the 4 fourths is 1, so I could take out an x to the 1st power, which would leave um, x to the 3rd power under the radical, and then y to the 4 fourths is y to the 1, and then I still have a y to the 1st power left under the radical. So this is also a simplify expression, but in radical form instead of exponential form. Let's do another problem. Some things that I notice, again, I have multiplication of the factors. Um, first thing, though, that I notice is that I have a power to a power. So I'm going to use the rule that says x to the a raised to the b is equal to x to the a times b. I'll use that rule to simplify this factor first. So everything else I'm just going to copy. So I have a to the x over 2. Then this one, y to the, now if I distribute this one half, I'm using this rule, um, one half of two is one minus, and then one half times x is one half x. I'll just copy these factors. Then I'm going to use the rule um, x to the a over x to the b is equal to x to the a minus b because I have my fraction right here with the base of a, so I'll subtract these exponents and then also my base of y, I'll subtract these exponents. I have a to the x over 2 minus 3x. That takes care of these two. And then I have y to the 1 minus 1 half x. Subtract a negative 2x. Now if I have one half x, that's what this is, one half x, subtract three x, this can be written as a to the one half and negative six halves will be a negative five halves x. And then on this one I have like terms here and here, the 1 I'll have to just copy. So I have a negative 1 half and a positive 2 is a positive 3 halves. This is multiplication. So this is simplified as far as it'll go.